Chapter 5, let's go. Chapter 4 was pretty short. That took less than an hour. Who do you think would be Dami's antagonist setting up the riddles in the crime scene? Uh, Maybe Handong? Who did the best at Mafia? It seemed like that one time they played Handong seemed to have the right idea until the end when she was freed by Bora. So yeah. bad. Rare occurrence like that <laughs> helps us any. Sure, it took a lot to get from Bucharest to this forum Mara's place. More than crossing the ocean, I might add. It's this blasted storm that defies the laws of physics popping in and out of nowhere all over the world. Did you hear the driver saying it was messing with the GPS? Wait, where'd that accent come from? This? Well, what are my ancient stomping grounds doing to me? Kite, <laughs> I think this is the real <laughs> me. <sighs> it never ends. <laughs> well, we're here. Charming town, your ancestral home. You will, of course, understand my apprehension and distrust of this place. I don't call yourself the doctor, Brown, even though she was a citizen and, and not the mafia chaotic well, member. Yeah, for real. Here, dummy. And as long as you're not excessively loud, people tend to not notice you can speak. Let's find peace. Right behind you. All right, so we're here looking for peace, who is the daughter of the guy who hired um, the detective uh, Don archetype to find the Necronomicon. Oh, we have a lot of stuff here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's take a look. It's where the mayor of Fotomaris toils away, serving the citizens. I'll just leave them to it. I doubt she cares about administrative work. That's fair. Let's check out this mask. A man in what I think is a traditional mask. He looks really distressed, as far as I can tell. Uh, good evening. The castle must oh. make it to the castle. Hello? Castle? Must reach castle. Must defend castle. I'm afraid I can't help you with that, sir. Interesting. Best not involve her unless absolutely necessary. That is a fair assessment. Um, also, guys, be sure to um, to share the stream on your social media so that we can get more people in here. So that we can get as many uh, people watching, as many people talking about, you know, the comeback and uh, as many people donating as possible. We are trying to get as much money as we can so we can give it back to the girls and try and help them get their first win. That's what this whole thing is for. So, yes, uh, please, um, if you can, um, tweet the link to the... Uh, to the project or to the stream um, doors. and spread it around that would be very much appreciated you want to get as many insomnias in here as possible I am the one who knocks <laughs> to think of it I'd better not I'd better not all right cable it's a cable running from that end to the reddish gate probably internet I'm thinking internet all I can do is follow it I guess <laughs> we're both following this cable right g'day <laughs> All right. Well, Trans <laughs> Transylvania. That's Trans funny. Transylvania. Well, it sort of reads the same. <laughs> Can't reach it. Don't know that I have a reason to. I'm trying to own. All right. Let's check out this gate. Uh, a conspicuous ornate gate with an intense red glow emanating from behind it. Did you swallow up the source while I was asleep? <laughs> Pray remain unobtrusive, feline. <laughs> oh, hello. Stop right there, little chiclet. What's your business with the Corvins? Uh, are you talking to me, ma'am? Why, yes. Yes, I am, sweetheart. You are trying that door over there, and it's for me to decide who goes or doesn't go through it. Interesting. I just need to go in to follow that cable there. I'm trying to restore the internet and GPS to the place, you know, doing some good. Oh, so you're with the people that come fiddle with the cables every once in a while? Exactly. Well, they all know the answer. So tell me this. How many pieces did Corvin's heart break into? Oh my god. Who's this Corvin guy you keep mentioning? Don't play dumb with me, Chiclet. Shuna, Looks like a babushka. Shuna. Yeah. I'm not really sure I understand what's going on here. You can't grasp the concept of password protected entry? 
don't they have internet where you came from, Chicklet? Hi, I'm late. I took a big nap. That's a okay. Welcome, Punker Machine. Um. Uh, well, almost 400. Yeah, hey, we're dude, doing really, it's really well. Really, really slow. Talk about a really, a really slow. Hey. You do realize I'm male, right? Age and gender and race mean nothing. You're all chiclets to me. Interesting. Well, I guess that's sort of nice. Uh. I seem to have forgotten my password. Any suggestions on how to proceed? There's always the password recovery system, chiclet. Oh, cool. How do I access that? Ah, Lord knows where he is right now. It's a he? Yes, that's my husband. You won. He could be anywhere right now, but he's probably hanging around the inn, like always. Interesting. How do I recognize your husband? Big silly black hat and bigger and sillier white mustache. Thanks. <laughs> Interesting. Why can't you be the password recovery system? Does your wife do everything around the house while you just uh, lie around? We aren't I married. Don't have a wife. <gasps> Doesn't surprise me. Hey. <sighs> She's so funny. Can I go in now? As soon as you tell me the number of pieces Corvin's heart broke into. I'll get back to you on that. All right. So we have the, the objective for this area, and that's to figure out our way inside. What's over here? Oh? Oh, there's a... Oh, this air, this place is huge. Tourist info point, faded mural. There's a lot of stuff to look at here. See, looks like, she looks like she would either force feed you chicken cutlets or make chicken cutlets out of you. Yeah. Yeah, she would. It was sick burn with the no wife. Yeah. Nah, let's it just leave whoever that is alone. All right, we have a child. It's a local kid playing on his phone. Oh, can't we borrow his phone, maybe? Hello, young man. What's up? Playing on my phone. Do I know you? Just being friendly, that's all. Uh-huh. So, what are you playing? Call of Duty. Ah! I thought shooters sucked on mobile. <sighs> Call of Duty is not a first-person shooter. It's a survival game. Yeah, I like to see the phone from survival. a child classic, really? yeah. yeah. <laughs> the kid's voice, really? yeah. Oh my you god. You all play this supermodel, and every once in a while, you have to survive on no food before a show for like three or four days. That's ah. terrible. Games have changed since your days, old man. Oh my Everything god. Everything is realistic now. Disturbingly so. Very disturbingly. Nice place, this town. Nothing ever happens here, and I can't even get data on my phone anymore. But yeah, great place. Well, if you looked up from that screen every once in a while, <laughs> you'd see that it is. Oh, jeez. You're one of those, aren't you? We get it. You grew up hitting a ball against the wall, not glued to the screen. You were so much better off. Thanks for the insight. Bye. <sighs> well, uh, no, that's not... He's so I sassy. Mean. I was a nerd just like you. Oh, yeah. You're totally hip to geekdom and down with the youth, pups. <laughs> Have you seen a girl called Peace around? No, I haven't. Cause I'm one of those losers who won't look up from their screens at the real So time. mad I'm dying, yeah, I know, right? <sighs> Later. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's hilarious. Thank you for your contributions in the field of indie game making, Don Imagos. We salute you. <laughs> yeah, thanks, buddy. Don Imagos, artist, creator, director, actor, visionary, modern-day Viking. Brought important contributions to the art of indie game making to Transylvania from the distant lands of the New World. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Tourist info point. Oh no, not another tourist info ah. point. Thankfully, this one seems to be abandoned. Yeah, the guy I at that last one was, information stuff for a while. was something else, that's for sure. Art critic. This lady is really interested in that mural up there. Hi there. 
I couldn't help but notice you're examining that mural up there. Pardon me? Oh, yes, indeed I am, yes. Can you tell me anything about it? Why, of course. You see, there is a certain ambiguity in regard to the vivacious and decidedly histrionic undertones oh of my the God. disjunctive perturbation present within the artist's essentially transitional brushwork. Wouldn't you say? Uh... Of course, you must not let this hint of over-specificity on my part overshadow the obviously oh resonant special <gasps> relationships between the reductive quality of the lines and the commitment to a rigorously formal approach on the artist's behalf. Actually, what you must understand is that the work <laughs> echoes she doesn't stop. with its obsequious interior dialogue and even replicates itself, paradoxically denying any allusion to a juxtaposed mythopoetical reality. Okay. What can you tell me about this bus ticket? An incisive voyagerial <laughs> metaphor, rectangularly encased in an obviously sarcastic homage to utter futility and cavalcading materialism. Wow. Yeah, but what does it all mean? Aren't you paying attention, young man? It signifies that the structuralist paradigm under which the creator diligently operated is flush with <laughs> interpolated post-dialectic musings that cannot be rightfully ignored. That's oversimplifying it a bit, but yeah, okay. Uh, what is the significance of the divided heart? It is clearly a corollary of the coronary metaphors which permeate the opacity and quintessential divergence of pervasive oh aesthetic hierarchies in the art. Surprisingly it sounds like uh, a proper Slav accent uh, if that's what they went for. It's weird to see a good Slav accent. That's great! Um, I'll leave you to a critique. Indeed, indeed. Interesting. Okay, well, let's let's take a look at it since we're here. It's a withered portrait of a man with a fiercely intense stare. There's there's something about him, something strange. It's probably Nicholas familiar. Flamel. There's nothing to do with it. He looks so familiar, and I can't place him. Who does this guy remind me mm. of? Interesting. Very interesting. Uh. Kitty, who does this guy remind me of? It's killing me. It looks so familiar. I know this is going to sound bad, but you all sort of <laughs> look the same to me. That's hilarious. A uh, heart shape. Huh. A heart shaped mural. It's got like a circle in the middle, and uh, yeah, I have no idea what this is. Yeah, yeah, me neither. I wouldn't know what to do with it. Yeah, me neither. No reason to have. All right, the brain. This is your brain on walls. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to use it. Yeah, me neither. Oh, let's check out the spotlight. Uh, it requires a light bulb. Actually, I'm positive. <laughs> a spotlight that's supposed to be lighting that hard thing on the wall, I think. It's not working. No light bulb. Interesting. Let's grab this slingshot, because I'm sure it's going to come in handy soon. That slingshot of yours... Isn't it cooler and more realistic than a video game? I don't know, but it can realistically <laughs> take your eye out. So which of these two is worse? You tell me. Well, if you put it that way... I made it way too deadly. <sighs> the world's not ready for it. Right. That thing does not look deadly. It's only made from the toughest wood you'll find around these parts, and a virtually unbreakable rubber band. And I've used industrial grade glue to put the thing together. Not only is it deadly, it's indestructible. Interesting. Okay, okay, I believe you. Good. Now leave me alone, please. <laughs> Thank you. Wait. That's <laughs> yeah. really, dude. You're on. What are we wagering? Just the satisfaction of being right and in the other guy's face, kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. It's on. <laughs> he didn't even notice. Later. Uh-huh. He's too busy stuck in his phone. We swiped it out from under his nose. We love to see it. Oh. Whoa. Right now, they're just for admiring. 
It's the city's ancient. You All can right. almost feel hundreds of years of history. Give us your you money, yeah. How's it going, Meg? How's your day? An intricate monochrome mural in stark contrast with the intense colors all around it. It seems to tell a pretty convoluted story. <laughs> Interesting. That's pretty cool. Can we do anything with it or no? An intricate monochrome. It seems no, to. No, I guess not. Oh well. All right. Well, what does Kitty have to say about it? Just peep it yourself, Mr. Art Critic. Just woke up. Oh wow. Wait, what? A Aren't senior you? citizen enjoying his time on that bench. Yeah, the people voice in this game seem to be mostly from Eastern Europe. Yeah, they got all the voice actors from uh, from Transylvania, I think, where the game was made. Uh, good evening. A good evening to you, young man. Such a pretty town for Maris. Yes, and an old and storied one too. Oh, if these walls could speak. The birds, the deaths, the wars. Maybe it's better <laughs> that they can't speak. Mm. Boy, what a sight, huh? Yes, yes, it is superb. The rolling hills with their scents of hay and white flowers. The gently grazing herds. Sometimes I wish they placed this bench the other way around. <laughs> but, um... I guess this way you can admire the mural. It's a good point. Is there a story behind it? Yes, there is. But do you have the time to listen to it? Sure. Yes, I do. Now. Oh. Legend has it that a long, long time ago, on top of a mountain overlooking Forumaris, a Solomonar, that's an ancient wizard, was conjuring thunder and rain when, below, a terrifying Balaur, that's a dragon, attacked the town. The masks, sworn defenders of the town, could not defeat the dragon, but could not live either, so they sent an Stay innocent well young yeah. shepherd girl by the name of Miwara and her dog, Azor, to beg for the Solomonar's assistance. Miwara and Azor's journey up the mountain was not without peril. See, the Solomonar had laid many traps and cunning magical obstacles to stop anyone from disturbing his ritual. But Miwara and Azor were smart and agile and resilient, so they made it to the mountain top and told of the dragon's attack. But the Solomonar was red with anger and could not see beyond the fact that a girl and her dog had conquered his defenses. And since they had proven to be smart and agile and resilient, he transformed Miwara and Azor into a black and a white cat. Wow. Forever cursed so beyond the hills and mountains without ever resting again. Then he did make his way down to Forum Maris and found it in smoldering ruins, and the masks all but defeated, making their last stand against the beast. Is that our cat? It looks he like her. the dragon for three days and three nights. But I don't think and so. And finally crushed it down into the mountain, burying it in the bowels of the earth. Afterwards, he cried tears of remorse for foolishly cursing the shepherd girl and her dog and erected a monastery in their remembrance. That castle above the town that everyone fears, its steeple is all that remains of the monastery the Solomonar built ages and ages ago. Wow. It became corrupted and some folks say that it's from the evil that the remains of the dragon still hold. I hear the masks are once again guarding the castle now that its rightful heir has returned. But who would risk going all the way there to see if it's true? Wait, so is Bob Ornstein the Not Solomonar? Many. Not many. Maybe she's a descendant. Yeah, maybe. I bet you Bob Ornstein is the Solomonar. Wow, that was fascinating. 
I'm glad to hear you say that, young man. I'm still here to tell the story, but for how long? No one really knows or cares about it other than me and the masks themselves. Maybe once I'm gone, so it shall disappear into oblivion. Let's hope not. Yeah, let's hope not. Is the painting old? <laughs> <laughs> old, yes. Older than most things in this town. How old exactly, though, I cannot tell you. Interesting. I'll be off now. Have a nice evening. You too, young man. Goodbye. All right. Well, that was super cool. Breathtaking. But we have things to take care of. My word, that's that's gorgeous. <laughs> this is my homeland, Kitty. Eh? She doesn't care. <sighs> All right. So there's no new dialogue with her. So let's go back. Let's go back to this area here. Oh, uh, I think we looked at everything already. Uh, so I guess let's go back to the main part. Oh, there's more people now. Girl with the cat. Interesting. Maybe the sad mask has new dialogue. Again. I'm gonna I go retweet my tea. Go for it, yeah. I must defend the castle. Okay, see you later. Girl with the cat. It's a girl with a cat on a leash. Interesting. Hello, little girl. Make sure to share the stream with other summers so we can raise more money for albums and stream passes. Yes, please, please share the stream nice if you can. You. I'm Maria, and um, this is Interesting. The the cat barks. What? In the name of all that is sacred and holy? <gasps> Your kitty can't talk. Yes, she can. For some reason, people don't usually notice. Oh my god. She's <laughs> magical. As magical as they come. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, but yes, please uh, share the stream if you can. Um, it would be greatly appreciated. We want to get as many Somnies in here to come watch the stream and hang out on, and talk about, you know, the comeback and Dreamcatcher and uh, raise as much money as we can for the project. Uh, remember, the more money we raise, the more custom photo cards you guys get. Um, so, yeah, please share the stream. Uh, share it on my Twitter. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, before we continue with this dialogue, I'm just going to take a quick break to uh, run to the bathroom real quick. Um, give me like two minutes. I will be right back. I'm back. Hydrate or dehydrate. Yes, I've got a whole bottle of water right here, uh, which I actually should open now, since we're talking about it. What did I miss? Went to refill tea. What happened? Um, we finished the story with the guy, the old guy. That's basically it. Now we're talking to this little girl who's who also has a cat but her cat barks for some reason um yes this is where this is where we left off that's a unique looking doggy he's not a doggy silly can't you see he's a kitty cat we're really stretching <sighs> the definition here but how come he barks well he was raised by a doggy duh his adoptive mommy was a Carpathian sheepdog oh Nice. An actual son of a... Well, that's a very cool <laughs> and unique story. Oh my god. So, his name is, uh, Kiskis. Uh-huh. That's how you get his attention. I want to name him something else, but I haven't come up with anything better yet. I understand. Kiskis. Oh, that's I am now cute. the second most embarrassed cat around. <laughs> what are you up to, Maria? Oh, just walking. Kiskis. He gets real antsy if I don't walk him at least twice a day. He likes that, huh? Huh. <laughs> yeah, he's the happiest kitty when he's in nature. Oh my I'd god. I'd love to take him on a walk in the hills or in the mountains, but mom and dad won't let me. It's too far away. I see. Interesting. Did you happen to see a black girl around? No. I would have remembered that. Almost everyone around here is basically white. It's so boring. Oh, because this is the sound that Russians make when trying to get a cat's attention. Oh, really? That's hilarious. Oh, crazy lately. Thunderstorms out of the blue. That's why I can't walk in the hills anymore. So boring. Yeah, white people are very boring. 
I'm a tourist. What can you tell me about Forumaris? Well, everyone says nothing ever happens here. So... God, I hope that's true. <laughs> Catch you later, Maria. See you! She's cute. Alright, what else do we have? We've got this big statue over here. That description is nigh unreadable, but I'd bet my bottom dollar that's of blood. <laughs> it's just for watching and being in awe of interesting tourist info it's a tourist right. info thing about the statue and you really need to visit Spain yep just as I suspected it's a Vlad Vlad light bulb oh we can take the light bulb it's way too hot to touch and I don't see a light switch ah oh well we'll have to remember that okay local man I'd love to visit anywhere. Me <laughs> too. Vlad the Impaler. Yes. It sounds a lot like Russian. Извините. <laughs> Mâță neagră, mă, umblă după el, gândești că-i câne. Bată-te, norocul să te bat. Have you seen a foreign girl around here lately? Ce, mă, fete străine aici? Du-te, mă, de aici, mă. Au la el, fete-i trăbă. Do you speak Russian? A little bit. I only know a few phrases. Să-i mulțăr ca dracu copchi, să cați fete. Dar apoi, voi n-a văzut... When I was in high school, my best friend, um, her family, uh, was from Russia. And she taught me some, she taught me some phrases. Okay, any idea where I could look for her? Oh, so that girl with the barking cat is a reincarnation of the shepherd girl and the dog, right? Maybe. It's not. It sounds like some amalgamation of different Slavic languages. Interesting. Wow. Thanks. Are you from around here? Oh god, he's gonna go on for another hour. Like Serbian plus Polish. I guess interesting. The intonation sounds so much like Greek. <laughs> oh my god. He's not stopping. Oh, that's freaking. Yeah. I see. Weird weather we're having, huh? God, I love the subtitles, you know, right? Doesn't he sound like the NPCs in Odyssey? He does, yeah. Gotta stop asking questions. Yeah, Buzz is being a little too inquisitive. Alright, bye. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna turn the heater on in here, but I forgot that it's unplugged. Goodbye, Bardios, buddy. Look, I am picking it up. That's just swell, buddy. You better believe it. <laughs> I do. Fine. Good. <laughs> now we've got some some nasty trash. Imagine having a heater. It's really old. It's like thirty years old or something. Thirty or forty it's a years old. Particularly badly But it street. works okay. Probably leading outside of town. Not without the protection of some kind of vehicle. That's fair. Carriage. What a quaint little horse-drawn carriage. I can't drive this. Coachman mm -hmm. has to be around, though. Interesting. Okay. In window. Let's check it out. Man, that's a nice, warm, inviting window right there. It is. Or I could just, you know, walk in through the door. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Oh! What a lovely place. Just stay alert. I can smell the tension in the air. That's probably just customers waiting for their <laughs> meals to arrive. It takes That's time a mood. To I'm starving. enough to hide the stab wounds. <sighs> <sighs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh, cable. Okay. A cable that seems to run outside. Probably into Walk in the door. That's so 20. To, yeah. Can we do anything with it? Uh, I can just follow it. Interesting. Okay. 
Thick glove. As has often been the case, can't reach it. Yo, Kitty, I need your climbing skills to get that glove up there. But do it, uh, do it stealthily, okay? Gotcha. Ah. So much for stealth. I but that was pretty you. cool. Ah. Show off. <laughs> They're so cute. All right, nice. We got a glove. Cool. All right, let's talk to the self-involved gentleman. I bet that guy spends hours in the mirror daily. Probably, yes. Evening. Yeah, hello. Do I know you? Please go away. That was away. fucking cool. It was cool. Uh, My name's Buzz, and uh, I'm a tourist. My name is Vasile, and I'm the alpha male. I'm not bragging. I don't want it to sound confrontational. <laughs> Just putting it out there so it's crystal clear. Okay, oh my Basile, God. I can respect that, I think. All right. So, what's up? Look, man, I'm kind of busy trying to get the waitress's attention. Would you mind bothering someone else? Sheesh, fine. Wait a minute. Wow. Maybe you could help. Really? How? Come stand next to me. That way, I'll ah. shine even more by contrast, you know? Oh my god. Thanks. I'll pass. Have you seen a girl called Peace around? Not since I've been sitting here. And you can trust me. If there's anything I would have noticed, it would be a girl. Is she pretty? <laughs> Never mind. This guy's a douchebag. Nice of course it's nice. It's only seen the inside of the best rated beard salons. No one fights as Gaston, do you say? Yeah, fights beard like Gaston, in yeah. Transylvania. Oh, because we're Transylvanians and we should just let our facial hair grow out like animals, right? Bigot. Hey, I'm Romanian too. With that sad excuse of a five o'clock shadow? Please. Oh my oh, god. Brother. So this waitress. Anna. Anna. How do you plan on getting her attention? Other than my stunningly styled hair, impeccably waxed beard, and rock-hard abs? Uh, I think that's as far as this plan goes. That's it? What if your interests are completely opposite, or, or your characters don't match? Wait, what do you mean? <sighs> we both look good. Are you interested in anything other than her looks? Uh, I, uh, I don't think I understand your question. Never mind, dude. Wow. See you around. All right. Let's check out the vinegar. Watch out! What? What? You just said watch out. I did? Oh, I did. What? <laughs> oh, watch out! That there is not vinegar. It's not. What? No, it's a powerful solvent. I, uh, uh... I mislabeled it. <laughs> Silly me. Nearly killed myself with it. Wow, that Not sounds... Not me. Can I still have it? What? Yes, yes, take Sounds it. very irresponsible. Just don't put it in your salad. What? What? <laughs> oh, darn it. Now I'm doing it too. <laughs> uh, thanks. All right, now we've got a mysterious solvent. Interesting. There's also a bent fork over here. I mean, who knows? It might come in handy. He sounds like the kind of guy who literally has nothing interesting about him, so he just tries to, <laughs> to look good to make himself feel good. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, that's E on the husband. Okay. This guy's really enjoying his food. I'm hungry. I want to enjoy food, too. <clears throat> what? <laughs> my name is Buzz. So I'm my ears are still ringing from that teaser what? last night, and I'm what? okay with it. Okay. Fuck yeah, that teaser was... Absolute insanity. I, I mentioned earlier, but lyrics aside, which obviously uh, are heartbreaking nothing? as Streamcatcher oh, lyrics right. tend to be, what? the production quality of the teaser is just amazing. Like this they end? really, they cool. really invested in the this in the that makes sense. in the CGI stuff. It looks so good. I'm here about the password recovery. What? I haven't listened. I'm so proud of myself. Good my for you, Angie. Password. You what? Uh, I mean, I, I forgot my password. Oh, all right. Well, 
Do you have the letter? Letter? letter. What letter? The Y. What? 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 No, I'm afraid I don't. Come back when you have it, Sonny. I know when they're... I know they're calling a new metal, but I'm not sure they know what new metal means. Gotcha. I don't... I barely know what? what new metal means. All right, then. This guy is my favorite NPC. He's officially my favorite NPC. Hey, it's an old-timey radio. Charming. Also took like three replaces to even notice the lyrics. Yeah, the effects are amazing. Oh, welcome back, listeners throughout Transylvania and indeed the whole of Romania. That was, um, let me see here. <laughs> oh, well, apparently I have no idea who was singing that, but, uh, oh boy, what the... I think this guy is a little bit too much to drink, yeah, probably. Right, right. Well, never mind. I'm so excited for the, uh, the music video teaser tomorrow morning. It's going to be awesome. See if I can avoid all the spoilers, or if I get in. You can do it. I believe in you. My name's Kerwin. Buzz Kerwin. Rodika. And this is my husband, Istvan. Wait. Did you say Kerwin? Yes, I'm actually half Romanian myself. Do lie down, Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, dear. And I don't like it one bit. Oh, spaghetti. What? Nothing. Never mind. Oh, why does everything have to be so mysterious and complicated? Yeah. All right. I'm looking for a girl. This is not that kind of thing. <laughs> oh no, a particular girl. Her name is Peace. Is this some kind of uh, social commentary metaphor you're trying to pull? Pretty beautiful if it is. <laughs> uh, no, I mean it in the most literal way. Look. You're not alone. I'm avoiding spoilers. You're good for you. To strangers around here, especially foreigners. Don't ask. We just do. Interesting. Foreigner, stranger, no one ever seems to be welcoming anymore. I'm starting to think it's me. Oh, it's uh, not you. We have to... Istvan, <laughs> you should stop talking now. Interesting. Now I'm even more curious. Curiosity is a very healthy thing. Up to a certain point. <laughs> then it can start to become extremely unhealthy. Is, is that a threat? I love when you put complicated things into concise sentences. Even simple people can understand, Rodi. Oh, stop it, <laughs> you charmer. Oh my god. Uh, I'm still curious about your unwelcoming attitude. I mean, this is an inn, right? We are, um, we have to be skeptical toward foreigners. Have to? And I'm half Transylvanian. Half Transylvanian, huh? Okay, okay. Let's say you need to earn our trust. Hear that? Interesting. How would one go about earning your trust then? They're so sweet yeah. towards each other, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Gesundheit. hide. You said you're half Transylvanian. Tsuika is our local drink. 60% alcohol. 60? And you expect me to ingest that? I can't trust a man unless he drinks with me. Oh What's boy, are we gonna, gonna get drunk? This again? It's our tradition. So, we drink? Sure, I guess. Hit me. Nurok! <laughs> there you go! <laughs> now, ask That was me. aggressive. It was very aggressive. I want to try that. In G yeah. <laughs> Poor guy, look at him. Come back when you're sober, eh? <laughs> Poor guy. All right. What was that about my name? Oh, it's just. Uh, how do you spell that? K E R W A N. See? 
That doesn't sound like a local name. Not at all. Has it been altered in the last few generations? You know, I really have no idea. Wait, altered from, from what? Istvan, let it go. It's the gentleman's business. What, you just find out how, yeah, I guess it wore off fast. Core what? Enjoy your stay in scenic Transylvania, my friend. Interesting. Talk to you guys later. Servus. Hmm. I don't think I need any pictures right now. I don't? These guys really love their pictures. Nicely decorated, too. Oh, wait, can we not talk to the waitress? Oh, I guess not. Okay. What happens if I try to talk to them again? Hit me. I guess we have to try that again. There <laughs> you go. Now ask me anything. I don't understand. Come back when you're sober, eh? Oh, that's so funny. What happens if we do the next one? In the last, uh, the last uh, option. There you go. Poor guy. He just droops. I don't All right. Okay, so that's that for this area, I guess. Talk to you guys. We have to find. We have to find the letter. Oh, voluminous gentleman. A quite He's voluminous got guy. Unlit pipe in his mouth. Voluminous, voluminous, voluminous. Hey, 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 hey. Coming to find something that makes you immune to alcohol. You know? Yeah, probably. Oh my, hey there. Good to meet someone friendly. <laughs> have you been talking to these grams around here? Uh, don't judge them too harshly. That's standard foreigner procedure. Standard procedure? This must be a cultural barrier thing. I'm baffled. I am afraid it's not for me to explain. So, let's just leave it at that. So, cool, maybe take what is Eon's it you oh, maybe. to talk to me about? But that would kill us. It's a solvent. It would, like, dissolve. Wait. Hmm. Have you seen a foreign girl around here? Goes by the have name to ruminate. Of I uh, don't have that kind of information, friend. That's something you should ask of Istvan and Rodika, the innkeepers. Why is everyone except for you so unfriendly? I uh, don't have <laughs> that kind of information, friend. My name is Buzz. Buzz Kerwin. Luca, the coachman. Oh, this is the coachman. At your service. How's the coach business going, Luca? It really depends on where you want to go. It's been several days now that we have no GPS signal. Strange times indeed. Very interesting. You need GPS for your coach? Well, again, it depends on where you want to go. Some places are very difficult to access even to an experimented couchman like me. So, me and Rosie have to relay on technology. You know? But everything is so traditional around here. Ah, uh, don't let appearances fool you. We have some of the fastest internet in the world, friend. It just sort of went away locally, <laughs> along with the GPS signal. Interesting. Just went away. You didn't look into it? Everyone who was good at computers moved away years ago. That's very Sadly, suspicious. Tech support should be on its way. Unfortunately, with no GPS and the treacherous terrain, plus this weather, who knows when they'll arrive. Interesting. That really sucks. So I'm not getting any GSM service either. I'm afraid not. Oh, heavens. <laughs> How I miss my 4G. 
What if I told you I'm tech support? Well, uh, you'd make Luca a very happy man. See, my love life. <sighs> yes? <sighs> Why am I about to pour my heart out to a stranger? I'm a stranger is the best person. To because you to, know to spread, I'm to fill your heart to. You can see it in my eyes. Oh, look, my friend. See that beautiful witness. Oh, everybody's all over Anna. Gotta do some work, but we'll keep stream playing in the background. The Sounds great. Hashtag multitasking. The world. Good luck with Just your work. To it. Strangers don't judge. That's Anna. true. Oh, no. Luca <laughs> is so in love with her. Uh, sorry, but what does this have to do with the GPS and internet being down? Well, this isn't the Middle Ages, Vaz. I can't just walk up and talk to her like some troglodyte. <laughs> you can't? <laughs> no, no, no. Of course not. Not in this digital day and age. Oh, I can't rest until I see which way she swipes for me on garlic. <laughs> is that some kind of dating app? The best there is in Transylvania. Wow. What if she's just not into you? Oh, Luca will just look for another girl. I guess. But I need to know first. Can't make any moves before that. Huh, that's a very mature way to see things. Nice. It is. Uh, life is too short to cry over spilled milk, friend. That's true. <laughs> I Plenty like him. Plenty of pretty girls in Transylvania. Don't you worry about that. I just hope she doesn't fall for that hipster Vasile. With his trimmed beard and his fancy haircut. Oh my god. Uh. uh. What if I go ask her for you? What is this? Fourth grade in the 18th century? <laughs> uh, I'd be left out of the inn. <sighs> what are you eating there, Luca? Oh, just had my mamaliga. But I'm afraid it's all gone. I have a friend who's from Romania whose last name is Mama Liga. Well, uh, sure. As long as Rodica doesn't notice. Help yourself. What do I need this bowl for? Luca, help me out with this Tsuika thing. No, 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 no. Thank you. Got to keep a clear head when steering the couch. <laughs> I meant, do you have any idea what I could do so it doesn't hit me like a freight train? Um, I uh, remember reading about that on a forum recently. But my memory isn't what it used to be. If only the internet was working. <laughs> nice pipe. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Tell you the truth, I haven't smoked in 24 years, but I feel it gives. I swear, Adventure Game Pro Tags are just kleptomaniacs. Yeah. Okay. That's true. See you later, Luca. Talk to you soon, Buzz. Okay. So what happens? You've got a glove, a slingshot, a bus ticket. It's the ticket for the trip from Bucharest okay. to here. Neat little souvenir. It is a nice souvenir. Hmm. This stuff looks like it's extra powerful. Better be careful with it. Hmm. It's a little cauldron I borrowed from the inn. Still smells of polenta. Mm. <laughs> what if I... Wouldn't affect it. This oh. thing is heavy metal. Stainless steel. It wouldn't uh. affect it. That would just make more trash. <laughs> nah, I like this glove. Okay, well, it looks like we have to restore the internet. Uh, 
uh, well, where is the inside in window cable? All I can do is follow it, I guess. Well, it was over there. We need a sheet of paper that has letter Y on it. I didn't get that at all. Oh, so I guess we have to go in here before we can do anything. What's this dark door? Oh, wait, we did that already. We did that already. Okay. This comment on the settlement implies you need to dissolve something with it. Yeah. I don't know what to dissolve. I don't have anything that it would dissolve. Can I go in now? As soon as you tell. So I guess we'll we have to. to on that. The amount of pieces Corvin's heart broke into. So we have to find that paper, or whatever. To find the why or something he said. Hmm. Neat balcony. It's not mine to use, though I'd love it to be. Oh man, what a neat! I'd love okay. to have one just like that. All right, all right. She doesn't need. All right. Is there anything we can say to her? Uh. Ooh. What do you think of this cauldron? An unrelentingly piercing allusion to corporeal gastronomic enslavement. In the almost puritanical form of a hemisphere, wrought of sacrosanct hunger, both telluric and spiritual. Wow. You nailed it on the head. Interesting. What do you think of this slingshot? Kind of shot, if you ask me. <laughs> what? Inextricably inferior. Oh, she's from Stan Twi Yeah. Look at the heart on the wall. Yeah, we, um, I mean, I'll do it again after we get out of the I conversation with her, but we did that before. Ah, ah, such a Buckish postmodernist cliche turned anti cliche, or as some would put it, mud for reversed boilerplate. Not an entirely surprising denouement coming from a distinguishably inexperienced dabbler in the arts, but one <laughs> I uncontemptuously applaud nonetheless. Interesting. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just trash, really. Precisely. Wink, wink, as they say. <laughs> uh. What are your thoughts on this glove? The My brain starts to from this lady. Mine too. Between the universality of myth and the theoretical limits of acceptance is uh, is akin to a pattern of new insights that are instantly accrued and synthesized. Nispa, what starts out as a <laughs> sounds like Cassandra from Dragon Age. She does into a tragedy of circumstantial amorphous extrications of shape and content. Like shimmering replicas becoming anthropomorphic, emergent through critical practice, resulting in intermittent forms that become distorted enough to reflect our true nature as solipsistic consumers of conformity. But wow. what about the glove? Oh, there's a glove? Ah! Conscientious critic. What do you think of this solvent? Are you by any chance employing Terrakeus earthly chemistry as a means of subsuming the, uh, the inextricable anthropologic dissolution into a pan-expressive, if mechanistic, allegory of human suffering and decay? I sure am. <laughs> Bitchin'. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Indeed. Okay, yeah, let's check out the heart again. The heart is right next to that faded portrait, uh, as is the brain. What does that mean? I wouldn't know what to do with it. I can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I know this guy. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's like Flamel or something. Dragon's just such a good game series. It is. It's really good. Isn't that the heart of Corbin? That's what I was thinking. It's in four pieces. That would just make more trash. Hmm. But it doesn't actually say... And he said, the guy said we need some sort of paper. But I don't see any paper here. Let's see if there's anything new Nico can say to us. Apparently not. Later. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Alright, fine, back we go. Okay. 
Is there anything new that Maria can say, maybe? Trash plus slingshot? I'm just throwing ideas into the air at this point. Maybe. I don't know where we would Get where the... we would throw it at, though. Oh! 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 Where'd the glove go? No! Uh... No, glove. no not that. Uh... Challenge hit. No! Where's the light? Yes! The light bulb! Yes! Oh my god! Okay, this should stop it from burning my fingertips. Yes! Wait, what do you think you're doing? What? I'm... I need this... bulb. My folks are from around these parts. Oh, sure. Silly me. Why don't you grab the statue while you're at it? Oh my god. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it back, okay? I need this. For such a goody two-shoes, you sure do borrow things a lot. Shut up, cat. <sighs> All right. Let's put the light bulb in the light thingamajig. Uh, it was over here. Uh, it requires a light bulb. Actually, yes, it does. Actually, yeah, I'm positive. Yes, that's what we're here for. We have a light bulb. Perfectly functional light bulb seeking healthy compatible socket. Could you please not <laughs> say that? Just Perfectly put it in. functional light bulb seeking healthy compatible so Could Wait, why isn't it going in? What? Perfectly functional. Could you? No. Oh my god. Perfectly. Oh you? no. There we go. Now and it's working. And it fits. Symmetry. I am really into you. Now let's check out the heart. I wouldn't know. Huh. A heart-shaped mural. It's got like a circle in the middle and, uh... Yeah, I have no idea what this is. Okay. Man, this is really frustrating. Who the heck does it remind me of? A friend? A neighbor? Someone in my family? <sighs> Who cares? Stop dwelling on it. Hmm. There's nothing to do. He looks so familiar. Who does this guy... Okay. This whole mu must be a cultural. Okay. Would know how to use. No reason to have her climb up there. Kitty, who does this guy remind me of? It's killing me. It looks so familiar. I know this is gonna sound bad, but you all sort of look the same. Right. We did this dialogue already. All right. Fine. Let's ask no her about this one. No reason to have her climb up there. All right. I guess we did all that part I guess unless maybe something changes back here no I guess not unless this is gonna turn out to be Vlad's descent or something maybe old man city walls mural gorgeous pastures okay yeah nothing's changed well now that we've unlocked that I guess maybe we can talk to the art critic lady maybe she has something to say about it now uh, solvent trash blah 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 bus ticket Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Fine, back we go. Or maybe Nik Niku has something to say now that we turned the light on. Nope. Okay. Uh -huh. Goodbye, Abuardios. Okay, well, we can't go into the city hall. I feel like we have to talk to the... Um, to the bard people again. Or to the guy, this dude. Eon. What? Letter? What letter? The Y. What? What? No, I'm afraid I don't. Come back when you have it, Sonny. The letter Y? Got a scoop. What? All right then. What if I give him this? Doesn't look like a bus driver to me. Hmm. What if I give him the fork? I wasn't using it. This? He's good in the dishes department. What am I supposed to give him? A letter Y. Oh, slingshot. Oh my god, Angie, your mind. No, man, I don't want to hurt the guy. Oh, I guess... I guess not. 
It was a good idea. That would just make more trash. No, man, I don't want to hurt the guy. Well... That would be vandalism. Huh. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, mess retiring. Really? No way. I've had the opportunity to see how people react to you prior to my transformation. I've got to say, Buzz, it's not looking good for you. We are just running into an inordinate amount of generally misanthropic types, I swear to God. If you say so, bro. Huh. So, what are your thoughts on this, I only trust you if you can drink literal poison situation? Happy it involves you, not me. I was thinking <laughs> more potential advice and less schadenfreude. At least your vocabulary is starting to improve. We obviously have to find some way for you to become temporarily immune to their deadly kerosene water. It would make sense for someone around here to have an idea about how to do it. Where do you think we should be looking for someone to help with the Tsuika thing? Probably the inn, right? <laughs> That makes sense. Oh my god. Uh... Luca's such a nice guy, isn't he? He's in stark and welcome contrast to all the grouches in the inn, that's for sure. Uh, oh, you know what, Vlad the Impaler, who is, is, is actually Dracula? I did know him, that, right? actually. I'd normally say no, but he I read a lot of vampire fiction. Here, so I'll reluctantly have to agree. Yeah, we have to solve this internet and GPS problem Photomaris is having. Hey, you always sleep on my Wi-Fi emitter. Yeah, it's nice and warm. That doesn't make me an expert on network infrastructure. Is there like a cable we could be following or something? We'll look into it. So, how you like in Transylvania so far, kid A? It's the greatest! Really? <laughs> okay. Alright, uh... Are you understanding anything of this letter and light bulb nonsense, my furry friend? I'm Use the solvent with the slingshot. Glabrous Interesting. Glabrous. Non hairy. I thought you couldn't even read. Stay on target. <laughs> we obviously need to find the letter Y somewhere. I the old man says, Yeah, no, no, no. I, I know. We have the slingshot, but <laughs> Did you like. just say that? Unintentional. There's circumstantial. I don't think there's Forget anything we can it. do with Let's it. Continue our quest for random letters in Transylvania, because that makes a lot of sense. I don't know what to do with it. Is it that's what I mean. Uh, a barking a cat. Barking cat, huh, kitty? Yeah, it's like that. Now I've seen everything. But I'm gonna try it with the solvent. Think we could use like this Angie kind said. of peculiarity to our advantage. Nothing hmm. really surprises me anymore. So why the heck not? Interesting. Okay, well let's give it a try. Oh, it worked. Now we have a U. Ha! In your face, kid. Man, that stuff was powerful. Yo, Angie, your mind is so powerful. Oh, wait. We have the letter Y. I've got the letter. All right. You'll need the illuminator. What? What's an illuminator? Thingamajig. Makes light. What? You know what to do with it, right? Not really, no. I'm so confused. Illuminator goes first. Then you add the letter and start counting. What? What? Could you be a little more specific? The yeah, I did that already. Heart. Light that sucker up. Then add the letter. Then start counting. I did that already. What? All clear now. I guess. So. Yes, what? Hmm, what? How should I? What? Uh, <laughs> never mind. All right. Bye. Probably put what? the thing in front of the spotlight, what? yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do this. The the people who made this game, uh, the developer, the the company name, the, the developer's name, they're called um, Stuck in Attic. They're making a game that's sort of like a sequel to this one. It's not an actual sequel. But, um... Oh! There we go. It will now project a Y on that heart shape. Nice! It's neatly divided into nine parts. I guess that's my password right there. Nice! We love to see it. Okay. 
The number nine. Let's go back to the old lady. We have to get our internet. Nine pieces. That's right, Chiclet. Go on in, then. Thank you, ma'am. Wait, wait! I look at you now in this light and... Oh! Oh? Corvinus! I... I... Forgive me for doubting. You know. You know! Of course you know! I'm so confused. You are back! Corvinus! Uh, I'm sorry, is this some Axis granted ritual I'm not completely understanding? Oh, Kerwan Corvinus. Oh my god, you're right. She's gone. Angie, well, you're right. Someone got really excited about you for some reason. There's that. She was also married and more than a century old. There's That's what that those people too. in the inn were Let's saying. They said core. And figure out this blackout. Corvinus. Angie, you're a genius. Corvinus. What platforms do I own? Um, well, I have PC. That's what I'm playing on now. And I have a, a PS4 Slim. Kerwan is a variation, I guess. Yeah. Oh, this is... A very, very interesting. Uh, busted bust. A severely battered bust. I think it's supposed to be the guy in the portrait. It's unmovable, and I'm frankly afraid to touch it. There's <laughs> like swords sticking out of it. Impenetrable door. Holy wow, someone really doesn't want anyone to get past that door. That's by far the most secured ancient Transylvanian door I've ever come across. <laughs> There is no way in heaven. I mean, I'm curious. All right, let's take a look at the portrait it's then. A withered portrait the mural dude it looks familiar because it looks hair. like him. Yeah, there's, there's it's his relative him. or something. Something strange but familiar. They have the same eyebrows. There's nothing to do with it. Just like, he looks so. Who does this guy remind me of? Of yourself. Uh huh. So that's where the cable goes. Oh, I can sense it coming. Not exactly short, but that hatch is way out of reach. Go get that hatch, girl. Fine. Huh. Oh. Ouch. So I guess Kitty can't open it. Yep, that's our internet cable, all right. Looks like it's going up into the ceiling there. Interesting. Can't reach it. Okay, so I guess we have to go into the next room. Oh no, that's outside. Oh, I see. Okay. So, how are we supposed to... Frickin'... Just pretend I came up with a snappy remark <laughs> on how ridiculous that idea was. What do we do? It's not exactly slingshot material. I'm not sure it's totally what a short guy would say. Yeah, it is. I don't think there's anything else we can do with it. How are we supposed to get up there? Had they still been a ladder, yeah, definitely. They protrude out of the wall like little fragile bones, <laughs> bathed in the red disturbing light cast from that sinister window. Easy there, Lovecraft. <laughs> yeah, she hit her head trying to open it. Fork doesn't exactly hmm. help here. Not hanging this up here. Hmm. What if we try one more time? Yeah, she can't open it. Hmm. Oh, man, that must have hurt. So, we need another way to open this thing. Cauldron on head as helmet. That's a it brilliant idea. A little head. But we'd need to strap it down. With the rubber way. band! Oh my god! You guys are so smart, hello? What do you know? Got myself a cute little makeshift helmet. Huh! <laughs> the things I do for you, Kerwin. I think I found the source of the problem. It's some kind of internet GPS jammer thing. And now it's history. Nice. You're awesome, kitty. Tell me something I don't know. Amazing! You guys are the smartest! Oh my god. We did it! Okay, so let's go back to the inn. I'm gonna plug in my heater now. Like, actually plug it in because I'm freezing. Oh, 
Okay. The heater is plugged in. We are good to go. It's very cold in here. Uh, all right, let's go inside. All right, Luca. Luca, the internet's back on. Oh, yes, yes. I was just getting on garlic. Let's see here. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Wh what is it? I is it bad? Well, uh, kind of, but uh, in a way, not really. Did she go for you or, or Vasile? Um, neither. She's uh, into girls. <laughs> we love uh, to see it. Who knew? <laughs> oh, we love man. to see it. Sorry about that. Hey, don't worry about it. Plenty of fish in the sea. At least that hipster Vasile doesn't stand a chance either, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. But could you look up that thing about Suica now? Oh, sure thing. Let's see. If... All right, here it is. Vas says here that swallowing a spoonful of vegetable oil before drinking coats your inside so that alcohol doesn't absorb. That is actually on now, green light, that yeah. actually work, but don't try this at home and all that. Never underestimate your audience's intelligence, friend. Here, have some of mine. Norok. Nice vegetable oil. Ugh, that was almost worse than Suica. All right, <laughs> it would seem I'm oiled up and ready to go. Let's do this. Pretty much, yes. See, there were things on the other side of the wall. I'll have that drink with you. All right, here you go. So, so I was unemployed. No, no. Norok. I'll drink too. Okay, friend. Ask me anything. All right, what's with the nasty attitude? Rodi looks like he's one of ours. That's what I was afraid of, Ishti. Look, it's nothing personal. There are certain expectations people have from townsfolk. Living next to ancient castles in Transylvania. Yes, it was either this or perpetually scared and covering in the dark corners. <laughs> but there's no need to be scared. Not anymore. So, we're just nested to foreigners since they kind of expect it. <laughs> just a recommendation. See, my mother was ready to go. To yeah. Not tourist boards again. <laughs> Oh wow, we've got a lot of stuff here. Anything okay. else expected of you regarding foreigners? Oh, you know, silently frowning when asked anything, running out of the room huh. all of a sudden. The classics. We used to do the whole torches and pitchfork thing every once in a while. Ah, that was fun. Until these numbskulls almost burned down an entire street. We've oh been holding on to that for really special occasions. <laughs> I still say Vasily poked me in the butt intentionally last February. He's always envied my mustache. Always. Oh, shut up, Istvan. <laughs> what can you tell me about Luca, the coachman? Good guy, Luca. Very nice, man. Yeah. And Rose is a great girl, too. His wife? His horse. Oh, <laughs> okay. What did you mean by nothing to be afraid of anymore? The ancient castle up on the craggy hill. Oh. It's got a pretty bad reputation. Actually, so bad that no one ever even claimed it for hundreds of years. Until Baron Ferenczi came. That is. Him and his strange sounds and experiments. Oh. Well, 
that all lasted until one night there was a big boom. And no one ever saw the Baron or his men again. Interesting. Oh, huh, weird. How does this Ferenczi look? No one ever saw his face. Always huddled up in a huge trench coat and his face hidden. We're all glad to be rid of him. If rid we are. Curse him for messing with our superior Transylvanian broadman. This is all fascinating, but I'm here looking for a girl named Peace. Yes, she was here. She got some supplies and left. For the castle. Oh. Oh boy. Then I need to get to the castle. <laughs> Talk to Luca. He'll probably take you there if there's GPS again. Is the castle abandoned now that Ferenc is <laughs> apparently gone? Oh no. Well, folks, time for it's me to sleep. Have fun. Thank you, Andy. Air. Have a good night. Vlad has since returned. Vlad, huh? Vlad. Indeed. Tell me something about this Vlad. He loves. Yes. Do better. <sighs> oh boy. What else can you tell me about the castle? Well, it actually was an old monastery, hundreds of years ago. It somehow got corrupted sometime in the past, and they tore it down. Yes, nothing but the steeple remained, and they built the castle around it. Interesting. Well, Very thanks for everything, Rodika and Ishvan. You're welcome. We're just glad to be able to be our own hospitable selves again. Isn't that right, Isti? It is! And the sooner you get the heck out of our town, region, and country, yeah. the better for everyone. Enjoy your stay in a beautiful scenic Transylvania. Thanks. Oh I will. All right. Let's talk to Luca. Hey, Luca, could you take me to the castle? To be honest, I'd rather not. But what the heck? You're... My friend, now, meet me outside when you're ready. See you later, Luca. Talk to you soon, Buzz. Okay, let's go. Well, Kitty, I guess it's off to the castle. Off to the castle, yeah. let's go. Blood's castle. Let's do it. So you were apprehensive around the town folk, but a guy called Vlad in a dark castle on a craggy hill that's actually a desecrated <laughs> monastery just gets a, sure, let's do this? Don't take this personally, Buzz, but the fewer humans, the better. Well, what a shame I finished my Doritos. Oh, no. It seems marginal. Oh, well. Good guy, Luca. Oh? Hello? Masks. Uh... A group of fierce, intimidating masks are blocking our way to the castle. Walk no further. Turn away and leave. Uh... Hi, it's imperative that I make it to the castle. We are under Share the stream and donate to support Dream Catchers. Come back. Yes, please. Uh, Turn share the stream. Around. Leave, um, do not on social media, uh, tell Strict people to come hang out, who? and um, and if you can, if you place. can, uh, please Turn donate to the project so that we can leave. make it as successful and as fruit fruitful as possible for Dreamcatcher. Nice evening, huh? That middle guy's face looked Turn like a boss. <laughs> it does. That was a little rude of you. Come on, I really need to get through. Not without word from the master. Interesting. He's expecting me. No one is expected. Oh. We know nothing of you. Leave and do not return. Okay. I need to talk to Vlad right away. Truly, you mock us. Leave. Well, I guess. I think I'll return to town. Bye. Well, I guess that's it. We can't really do anything else. 
What do we do now? What do we do, you guys? Mm. What the heck was all that calling me Corvinus? Yeah, it feels like there's something I've been looking during missing, internship, but the voice acting but is I very calming. It is. Yeah, I agree. State. Corvinus. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Okay. Tourist info, badly lit street. Yeah, let's see. Should we be ramping up? So well. That's great. <laughs> oh, yeesh. Just know that blood is a thanks, son. Keep it well. Not oh, okay. anytime soon. I guess we can't say anything more to them. Is there anything we can talk to Eon about? Check if something's changed on maybe there's new stuff, yeah. Bye. What? What? What about him? Evening. Oh. Hey, Gary and she, thank you for following. Welcome Here to the stream. Right. Welcome to Gaming for Dreamcatcher. All right. Let's see. Uh. Maybe Luca has something new to say. Luca. Or not. Never mind. We'll have to go back. Okay, fine. Back we go. I guess. Can we give them something? They Bust. wouldn't care about my ticket. Hmm. Yeah, sure. I, huh. I guess not. Okay, fine. Um. What about this guy? Hey, it's me again. Okay. All right. Alright, I guess we can't say anything to him. Maybe Maria has something new to say? Uh, let's find out. Oh. Hey, Maria, here's an idea. Why don't I walk Kiskis in the mountains for you? I'm headed that way. I don't know about that. Look, I normally would tell you never to give your pet away to a stranger, but... Show him uh, the Necronomicon? Look, oh, that's a, a that's a good idea. Quest, and I need Kiskis' help. What do you say? I'll bring him right back. Hmm. I would say no. But you do have a magical talking cat, and you don't seem like a bad person. I guess I can make one exception. I would not ask if it wasn't super important. A and Kiskis will enjoy the mountain air. All right. Bye bye. Hold on right there. I may be young, but I'm not dumb. <laughs> I hold on your passport until you bring my kitty back. Thank you. You're all right, have kid. A passport. Come on, Buzz, fork it over. Okay, everyone know their roles, right? Yeah, I'll do my best. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're pretending to be the the cat, the the two cats. Oh, that's I hilarious. That true. Whoever you are, be be gone with your trickery. Ooh, talking barking cats, big brain, Ooh, huge am, brain. I am Miwara, and this is my trusty sheepdog, Azor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Side and let us through. It is them. It is them. You have returned. <laughs> you truly have returned. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. I had no way of knowing. You are forgiven. Your path to the castle is open any time. Yes. All right. <laughs> interesting, very interesting. Here he is, as promised, safe and sound. Yay! Did he help you on your magical journey? Him and Kitty defeated an army of scary mass people all by themselves. <laughs> wow, he's so good really? with kids, that's so they he's so cute. It. Well, we're cats, so we did what we do best. We outsmarted them. And I think I have the perfect name for your kitty. How's 
Azor sound. OMG, it's <laughs> perfect. Azor! Excellent. Well, we must be on our way. Thanks for all your help, Maria and Azor. Take care, Buzz and Kitty. All I right. love you, buddy, but you <laughs> are one confused feline. Very confused. All right. Oh, cutscene. Interesting. Oh, okay. Road back. The abyss. We can stare into the abyss. All right, I'll admit it. My knees are trembling just a tad. <laughs> it's a long way down to the bottom. Looks like a long way. You cut short this incredibly gripping adventure. <laughs> Not on your life. Not on mine either. Red blood, blood red skies. All right. Funny thing, the closer we got to the castle, the redder the sky became. I wonder if it's some sort of local weather phenomenon or... Uh, let's stick with the weather theory. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the gargoyle. <sighs> A pretty standard model as gargoyles go. Man, Steve the Gargoyle over at the library is way creepier than this one. <laughs> Maybe I could use somebody, but it ain't this Gargoyle. <laughs> I'll bet I'm the first to ever make that joke. Feels good, man. <laughs> oh my god. A very conspicuous pile of rocks right next to the gate. Aha! Uh -huh. The key to the gate was hidden under one of these rocks. <laughs> Who but Buzz Kerwin could defeat such a display of excellence and security? Get over yourself and let's just get in. <laughs> See, Kitty? Solve the problem, kept you safe. Yeah, yeah, this damsel in potential distress is overflowing with gratefulness. Let's move. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Oh. Music is so good. The entire place is lit by flickering candlelight. A total fire hazard, but very atmospheric. Very atmospheric, if nice I do say warm, so myself. I don't need... Paintings of ancient this rulers. This place is plastered with depictions of what I can only assume are ancient Romanian rulers. Hmm. Well, they're cool, but I... Alright. Paused movie. What is it with this movie and rappers, seriously? What is the fascination here? It's... Uh... I don't know, man. No time for movie watching now. Oh well. Let's talk to the DJ. It's a uh, DJ Bald Beard? I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Barnabas kind of or whatever that guy's crest, name maybe. is. Cool dragon design on it. It's man, Dracula. If I ever get a family crest. Dragon it is. Dracul. It's cool. Familiar looking guy. That's a very, very familiar looking guy. Not the same as the one in Photo Modest, but still, where do I know him from? Not lugging that around. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to the DJ. He's way too focused for me to disturb him with chit chat. Fair enough. Let's talk to Vlad. That is the ruler of the castle. He has a very uh, urban vibe around him. He does. He's ignoring me. I'll let you handle this one, gladly. Interesting. More paintings of ancient rulers, candles. Weren't we able to like go up the stairs over there or something? Yeah. Let's see. Look at those shoes, yeah. Let's see what's up here. What are those? What are those? What are those? Interesting. 
Well, uh, a view for a few. I guess the only thing we can really do is go back inside. Did you just say, <laughs> yeah, I did. Banners, let's check them out. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Do not oh. need them. All right, let's go up. Oh, I guess this is the steeple. Interesting. Okay. There is a chest. A very gothic looking chest. Nice. As shoddy as it looks, there is a lock here. Looks like I could take it down easily with the right tool. Maybe I can use my fork? Yay. Ah, Unlocked. Ha, ha. Let's ah, see what's inside ha, ha. here. Some vinyls. Fork buddy. And a gauntlet. Ooh, I like gauntlets. We have a gauntlet. Nice. Do we put it on? Oh, examine. A shiny sure. gauntlet I've snatched from a chest in the castle. Pretty heavy, too. What happens if I put it on? Oh, I guess I can't. Okay, I, well, there's nothing else to do in here, so I guess we have to leave. How do we get out of here? Oh, yeah, there we go. More banners. Oh, and there's a room on the side here, too. Are, you, are we gonna duel Vlad? Who knows, maybe. It looks like this is the same as the other place. We just hang out over here. Interesting, very, very interesting. I really like the music, the, the beats the guy inside is putting down. The beats the guy is dropping. No. He's ignoring me. Oh, so I guess I have to show him the glove. I formally challenge you to battle, Vlad. Oh, I guess you're right. The fat beats donate for the beats for the safe for the dream catcher. Heck yeah. yeah. Here's the thing I'm telling all contenders all the time. First of all, you gotta have a throne before you go for mine. You just need my cellar for replacement. Ever since back in the days when your mama kicked you off the basement. Wow. Wait, this is a rap battle. Oh my god, this is the funniest thing ever. What's with the cornrows, dog? I don't think they really fit you. I'll bet if you would lose them, you'd be a beautiful creature. That's just wrong, man. <laughs> oh, we can do it again. Yeah, here's the thing I'm telling all contenders all the time. First of all, oh, no, I that was awful. Yeah, before you go for mine, you just need my cellar for replacement. Ever since back in the days when your mama kicked you off the basement. He's so canceled. <laughs> I don't care about your titles. They don't make you any better. This place is kind of chilly. Can I maybe bum a sweater? Ah, the DJ oh, face palming in the back. All right. I'm guessing the rap is still Here's the same. The all, yeah. The time. First Let's go all, through all the options. Before you go for mine, you just need my cellar for replacement. Ever since back in the days when your mama kicked you off the basement. And then I thought Monkey Island and Salt Tools were funny. This is hilarious. Nice castle. Please excuse me if I'm laughing still. I've only seen more cobwebs on the shelf where you keep your rapping skills <laughs> old and forgotten. Much like your grandeur is. Ancestors on the wall so they can mock you over centuries. Nah, centuries is how long I'll actually be laughing at just how wrong you look with that women's shirt that you got on. Yo, it's like I've seen it in my crystal ball and can't forget it's evident. Your cat's the only that you'll ever get. 
Whoa. I'm the sickest rhyme spit of the side of Romania. I'm really enjoying my stay in Transylvania. <laughs> oh god. Please stop. Ah. So I guess we have to do each thing in order. Now I see how it goes. Is how long I'll actually be laughing at just how wrong you look with that women's shirt that you got on, yo. It's like I've seen it in my crystal ball and can't forget it's evident. Your cat's the only f that you'll ever get. Okay. What's with the outfit, dude? I sight playing tricks. Hell, your clothes are like booze and decisions. They don't <laughs> mix well. Your looks all over the place. I call him like I see him. Let me just channel Indy. He belongs <laughs> in a museum. You could channel Mr. Jones till you ain't even close And it shows the only dope stuff you're saying are quotes So now what's next? You're gonna try the two-headed monkey trick? Kid, I could just say grandfather's name and then they'll bow quick <laughs> I'm doing battle with you, not with your family name Your only claim to fame is who your grandpa was? Lame <laughs> This is so good, I know, right? Fluffy cats, what about your pedigree? Uh, yeah, it's not my fault. You we can't accept your defeat. Your name won't ring any bells. There's no buzz on the street. Return to the library where you can't belong. This ain't a game, nerd. You better off reading the Necronomicon. Oh God. Born librarian, but check the skills I've gotten. I've dealt with black magic and cultists. This is nothing. It's like easy mode, not even trying, having fun. Kitty, cover up this fool with oh. some litter because he's done. Yo! I can't, I, can't, I can't stop rhyming. There's something wrong with me. I can't stop rhyming. Yo, my words are lethal. Syntax too sick for your people. Combacks, give me any tracks to spit on. I'm sicker than fish with people. I'm even sicker than their vicar. Seen too much craziness. Dark, come to Transylvania. Man, it's all a hazy mess. I'm even harder to impress. There's cultists coming after me. Compared to what I've been through, this rap battle's been a laugh to me. Ever read the Necronomicon? Please get back to me. Now I got a crazy cat that's talking smack to me. Sound like fun? Nah, it's one of those raw deals. Like it feels like a superpower, but it only only works when she feels like it. I'm going nuts. That's what's cracking. Hey, this talk of crazy huge monsters in the crack and bay. Who knows what's next? One problem at a time. That's how I'm at it. I'm turning alcoholics into caffeine addicts. Getting bombed by cultists, dodging their dark lords, dreading esoteric orders, hating tourist boards. I'm never bored. Never a dull moment since this started. When your cat freaking remembers every single time you farted, I just roll with it. There's stuff that I don't get. Kind of amazing. How do I carry so much crap without a backpack? Man, it's crazy. I stop and stare at everything. Thing, not even blinking then rubbing everything on everything what am i thinking whether in dark confishment or romania just stop and talk to random people it's a mania the crap i have to pull just to get some answers like dividing hearts counting pieces for some crazy passwords if it ain't one thing then it's another like drinking vegetable oil and fire water Ugh, this world is crazy surreal freaking foul and dark solomon arts masks and cats that growl and bark anyway i'm out of here gotta find my cat a remedy peace i'm on my way to more insanity wow cat let's dig deeper into the bowels of the castle and find peace Roger that. I'll scout ahead and not so fast. This was today. awesome. I know, uh, right? First, I need to make sure it's safe. That was amazing. Care of myself, Kerwin. Plus, I'm stealthy, so nonsense. You're a girl after all. It is my solemn masculine duty to keep That got me vibing. Uh, amazing oh, masterpiece. God. I know, right? I was vibing Fine, so hard. Vegas. Go ahead. Leave. Watch close. Oh, Jesus Christ, you game over. Learn a thing or two. The game could have ended right there and I would have been happy. Someone in the dev team wanted to be a rapper and had the opportunity to let themselves loose there. For real. And it's like, there's only three people. Only, like, three people made this game. So, like, it's like, so it had to be one of the three. Oh. It's peace. Wait, what the? 
piece, Busara. Whoa. Yeah. Oh yes. my god, I'm so dumb. I just realized the crest Who's is a dragon asking? because of dragon I'm face popping right now. I mentioned Who's that earlier, but I, I probably didn't it. say it very loudly. Tread carefully, human. We're here too. I don't know what tricks you're pulling, butcher, but I'm not gonna butcher. Fight. No butcher here. I'm a real bona fide talking cat. Stop struggling and listen. Never. <sighs> I tried. <laughs> Listen, peace. Oh, she tied her up. This? Talk? A little book called the Necronomicon? Ever heard of it? No. Are you kidding me? No way. Way. Oh, this... This is... This is crazy. How the hell I know, right? Oh, now we get to play as Kitty. Oh, my God. Calmed down yet? Ugh. Listen, me and Buzz over there have come here looking for you. Your dad sent us. Oh, yeah, sure. If that's so, why haven't you untied him? Think of it as an educational pursuit. Also, death He's from above is an Overwatch reference. Oh, it is, really? Well, if we're on the same side, just set me free. In due time, got some planetary mess to take care of first. <laughs> why did you tie up my friend? He's completely harmless. Why don't you set him free, then? Not yet. He is learning something valuable. <laughs> no way the rap is in the OSC. Is it really? Got anything out of your weird buddy over there? As a matter of fact, I did. Like the whereabouts of Baron Ferenzi? Mm, maybe. I'm listening. Again, we're on the same side. I really as need to get this game. You, you should. It's so good. Hmm. Interesting. Greetings, biped. Up ah. to the left, then up to the right, then up to the middle, and back up to the right. Hello, kitty. Interesting. What was that singing about? Oh, just directions to Grandma's house. I have bad, bad memory, but strong legs. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tell me about your grandma. Grandma has very bad varicose veins. She does. All the doggies snap at them. They think they're sausages. Oh my god. Lovely. Ah, that's a great image. What's your name, buddy? Hey, kitty cat. I'm Nelu. I have strong legs. You sure do. What's with all the planet stuff, Nelu? Ooh, I love my planets. You used to be an astromo. Astromo. Hey, 3G1C, Astronomy. how's it going? That's it. Then one day, big metal tube you look at starts to hit me. Right in the head it did. Bonk! Baron let me move in here and play with planets. If I guard the gate. Hatches. Everywhere we go. Hatches. Now I guard the gate. Now I play with planets. Now I play with planets. Now I got the gate. Interesting. So, how do I open this gate, Nelu? Ooh, I'm not allowed to tell little kitty cat. Baron says no one allowed. Only they look for it down there. Mm. Look for what? I don't know for sure. Big, big bat, I think. Big, oh? big bat. Bat. Batman? Sure. The Bat Cave? Hmm. Wait, maybe. Okay, yeah. Interesting. Oh! So this is the puzzle, I guess? Interesting. Oh! Very interesting. So these are different ways to move the jumping conditions not adequate. <laughs> jumping in Okay, so I guess we can't Nice.
What do I do now? Hmm. Middle button, upper left button, upper right button. Interesting. Oh, I see. We have to press all the buttons. Okay, I get it now. A song tells you which buttons to press on the panel. Interesting. Up to the left then. Up oh. to the right then. Of course I did it wrong. It was left, right, middle, right. Ugh. I'm just a dumbass, I guess. Okay. Okay. Uh do we have to reset them individually? I guess so. Oh no, we don't have to. Okay. All right. We've found the mistake. All right. Let's do this right this time. All right. Back down to the ground. Back to the panel. Okay. We're almost there, you guys. Um, I'm going to end the stream once we finish this chapter. And then we'll finish the game um, in the next stream. Uh, ground. Okay. Back up to the right we go. I'm not much sure how much longer this chapter is going to last. I have no idea. Probably once we get all the information and reunite with Buzz or something. I have a feeling this is lap chapter. There's seven chapters. We're on chapter six right now, I believe. So we have one more, I think. All right. Oh, there we go. In your face, humans. I've been enjoying this, but I guess I'll be untying you two now. Please tell me what is going on here. All right, let's take it from the top. So this bozo walks in one night with a weird book and starts reading from it. <laughs> thus realizing he was singing the sequence to push the capstones in, thus yet again proving feline superiority. <sighs> Anything you want to say, Buzz? Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, for Lily, how's it going? Uh, also, glad we finally found you, Peace. <sighs> well, if Father trusted you two, I guess I should too. So, where is this Baron? It seems like him and his goons are about done with what they came to do here. And they're heading over to Fishmouth. Oh, back to Fishmouth! Uh, not again. <laughs> Let's head down that hatch right now. And we might still catch him before they're off. Uh, after you, ladies. <laughs> I'm not working. Yes, nice. We love to see it. Oh, boy. Looks like we're too late. The Baron's left already. And it seems he got what he was looking for. Oh, wow. Are those bat wings or dragon wings or something? Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Who's this Baron? Why were you looking for him? What is he after? Baron Ferenczi. Oh. Just one of the many names the butcher goes by. We're both looking at the same thing here. What do you think it is they've dug out of that rock there? Looks like wings. Oh my god, that's just like in the legend. Precisely. 
You shall never dismiss local myths as complete nonsense. A huge pair of dragon wings. That's what they got away with. Nothing we can do wow. about it now, Carrier. No end to the work. Oh? Dragon wings. Just like in the legend, but hey, I'm prepared to believe anything at this point. Um, excuse me, how this, do I full screen your face on the boy. phone? They do. Um, um I would have to full screen. I, I would have to full screen, oh, um. Right. Like, from the stream, like, I would have to stop showing the gameplay. No end to the work? What does that mean, Peace? Uh, how much of the book have you read? Uh, I read a bit of it once. It made Kitty start to talk. I was frankly too terrified to examine it since. Open it at the very last page. <laughs> Thanks for following, Lily. <laughs> to open it to the last page. Oh! It's writing itself. The work it's writing is just itself. another name for the Necronomicon. And it literally has no end. Yet. Interesting. Very Yet. interesting. Nothing lasts forever, right? One can hope. <sighs> so, wait a minute. Does this mean... I don't know exactly what it means to be truthful. No one really does. What we do know is that it can change reality around it. And it might be controlled while doing so. Not by Buzz. <laughs> the shade. Did you just call me Carrier? That seems to be your role, yes. Oh, again with this deterministic nonsense. Well, we are the That's carrier of the book. That's a big word there, buddy. The book shows you to carry it, and there's nothing you can do about it. Hmm. What does that make you? I'm a hunter of evils. Huh, like your dad, huh? He's more of a protector of the other. So everyone has their little role in this production, huh? What's Kitty's then? I uh probably an anomaly. Uh, speculate on that. Is this My the same game? Girl. Yes, this is the same game. The other. Olmstein is not like us. You think? I miss you know. Morgan Freeman <laughs> voice. <laughs> Me too. I Hopefully believe. we'll see him again later in the game. Uh, never mind. Was it you who installed the communications jammer? I was trying to sabotage the Baron. Much good did that do. You gave us quite the headache. Literally. <laughs> Sorry, I guess. How did you get past Blood and his DJ friend? Did you have to bust out some dope rhymes? Oh, <laughs> what? No, I'm stealthy. I don't think they even suspect what I've been going on underneath them. So what's our next... W wait a minute. Oh, here we My go. Phone's ringing, but we're deep underground. Everything's upside down around here. Apparently. Come on, is that you? Finally. Where the heck were you guys? Been calling forever. Long story. The butcher was here, but he gave us the slip. We did find peace. She's here with us. Hold on, I'm putting you on speaker. Hello. Uh, yeah. Hi. So I found what was hidden in Flamel's abode. The stabilizing element. Yeah. A piece of paper with one phrase written on it. What phrase? I have it right here. One sec. A terrible storm, and three bells ringing throughout it, shall awaken the beast. Oh, the, the dragon? A terrible storm. Well, there's this one going on right now. And Herbert, if it's to be taken literally. Yeah. Uh -oh. I seem to just nearly miss it every time I get somewhere. Until one day you won't. Yeah. Three bells. There's a bell in this castle. I wonder if it has anything to do with this. And there was a... Bell above Flamel's place yeah, I was just about to say there was a bell above so Flamel's we place. Look for a third one, right? If awakening the beast really is what we want. No, it, point. it's not. Well, is it? Oh, that sounds exciting at least. I have enough excitement in my life. <sighs> I'm ready. Shall awaken the beast? Yeah, that part is a little unnerving. Just it a little. Is a little. True. I feel the same. It probably still needs to happen, right? Most likely, yes. It probably does. Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So this was the constant Barnabas told me about. The stabilizing element. If only we actually knew what that meant. The Necronomicon is ever-changing chaos. If Olmstein wrote it down, whatever this phrase describes, will probably happen. For better or worse. This is all fine and dandy, but what do we do next? I'm convinced the butcher's left for Fishmouth with a pair of dragon wings in tow. 
Oh, are we gonna have to go this to that creepy devil island? Evil festival should be in full swing by now. <laughs> you and Kitty shouldn't be showing your faces here again. It's my turn to follow this butcher deep into fish with stinking guts. Not without looking like one of them creepy cultists, you're not. You need to see the voodoo gentleman about a disguise, Mr. Katana. Oh. The password is Fidelio. Fidelio. Tell him Kitty says Skidoosh. Hi. Right, kid. Head on over to my office. I'll meet you there once I'm done with the butcher. <laughs> All right. 